We are in Kamenawa Park. Uh, so basically, the, <laughs> we are in the middle of nowhere and we've had to drive through the woods for like half an hour and some off-road track because out here apparently there was like some ancient megalith megalithic wall with a tree growing out of it. Apparently it's proof of some ancient civilization, so we're gonna check it out. But it's not like touristy or anything. So we've just driven into the middle of nowhere. We yeah. met some campers back there that uh, that said they know where it is, so we're kind of following their directions. It's mixed reviews as, if, uh, as to whether it's a natural um, breakage of the rocks or yeah, it's it, it could be natural or it could be man-made. No, there's yeah, 50-50. So, so we thought yeah. we'll come and see for ourselves. Okay, so allegedly, according to this sign, it was formed naturally 330,000 years ago. Interesting. interesting yeah. There's a very flat surface. See, that's kind of like brick like, isn't it? That's completely level. Yeah, that's up here as well. It's like a brick has come away. Yeah. And you can see that that line goes through where there's roots coming up. That's completely flat as well. This bit looks definitely more natural than the other side, doesn't it? But you would expect to see some like polygonal interlocking, wouldn't you? Mm. If it was ancient. Yeah. And I'm not seeing like the... There's no nubs. No, no nubs. No polygonal. There's no... Um... No shiny vitrified surface, no scraping like marks, no. Well, maybe a little bit of scraping marks. I don't think what do you that's think scraping, I think that that's just erosion. So this is like, the outer layer is just cracked out. So do you want me to say about here? And then you've got a direct line going central all the way across. Same height. Same height all the way across. This is yeah, one here. line that goes up all the way through. Yeah, similar in Peru with the outer layer of the stone kind of flakes off where it's been superheated. You've got the similar type of potentially uh, damage there. Maybe. Super smooth surface. A really strange, what looks like a man-made hole here. Could be modern, maybe. Um, don't know how old it is, don't know what's going on there, but that looks kind of like a inward scrape mark. Nothing like round scrape marks or anything. Um, potentially there, I don't know. Hard to tell. 
But here looks very, the joinage looks very similar to Peru. Don't you think? It's not How as it's flat. Super fine. It's really not as flat, but it is super fine and perfectly together. Yeah, exactly. And we've got, where was it? There was this bit that's part of the under rock has come away. So you can see how flat. So it looks quite flat. See? Yeah, proper flat. Under there. It's not perfect 90 degrees or anything, but it is very flat. You'll take into account erosion. Um, so we've got these end pieces here, which is, there's a big gap, but you can again see Super smooth flat sides though, as if they are bricks, especially down here. Look, that's complete. Well, right they angle. seem to fit absolutely perfectly together. Look, right angle. Potentially. It's not as much of a right angle and as perfect as in Peru, but this seems like a much more eroded version or mm. whatever. And you can see right through to the back, there's actually another rock there which has got the same upward crack and if we go around the side it's got the same sideward crack so it is almost like a complete block you can see that and you can see that this would have fit perfectly in this is quite an edge there would have fit perfectly in with that Actually, this block looks like it's cracked inside. Not entirely sure. So you would expect, if this was uh, man-made or evidence of like some ruins, there would be more happening around. But, like uh, with the Mayan, uh, the Mayan? Mayan, the Mayan, Mayan ruins over in South America, you could literally be walking over the top of it through the jungle and you would never know. So loads of excavation had to be done and ground penetrating radar to actually see stuff that was like under the ground. Because uh, you just you just wouldn't know it was there. So there could very well be more stuff around. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Just, just be careful Charlie. Don't anchor the bees. So over here, these are this is higher up on the part of the wall that doesn't look like very much but we've got here another almost perfect crack which doesn't look like it looks like it's almost a perfectly smooth surface a right angle corner right there and a very smooth front where this has come away and is much more eroded car and we asked the uh, hunters that gave us the directions yeah. if they had a compass and they did they have a magnetic compass so we're gonna go and do what we did in Puma Punku which is yeah see if it's got any magnetic fields around the rocks or around the area that we can pick up with just a small magnetic compass and yeah so yeah. if it does come up with something magnetic then <laughs> I'll be surprised if it does but yeah that would indicate does... man-made yeah and if it doesn't then that doesn't tell us anything. Yeah, just, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm turn it off. It's usually when you go inside, isn't it? But nothing. Yeah, nothing. No change. Yeah, no change with the magnet, but it was worth a try because in uh, Puma Punku, if you stick a magnetic 
uh, compass up to the rocks. The actual rocks are like magnetically charged so the compass uh, moves around and everything. But that's not the case here. After speaking to the guys back in the camp who lent us the compass very kindly, um, we found out that there was the government were going to do ground penetration, ground penetrating radars, I think it's called, to check what's under here in about year 2000. But they were vetoed by the local Maui people um, who say that they were the first on here and say that this is a sacred place. I find that very fascinating because, for example, um, the Incas say that uh, the, the most built up places from the megalithic works that was there when they first arrived were very sacred. Um, built by the gods, it was here before them, so then it's sacred and all that. So I wonder if this is a similar story in their oral traditions, but I don't know. I haven't spoken to one. I just find it very strange that they say it's sacred um, and that they will not allow for any ground penetrating um, scans to be done to discover what's under there. And one of the hunters that gave us the compass, as we just said, <laughs> uh, was saying that when he was out hunting in an area about that two way. hours trek no, from here, the other way. Uh, he found another kind of similar uh, formation. So it could be that maybe this kind of whole foresty area was some kind of ancient uh, like city at some point and similar to the Mayans just got completely ruined and overgrown with forest, maybe. But it's interesting that there's more than one of these uh, sites dotted around. 